Hi, welcome to the demonstration of the user side of the electronic shopping. This is an innovative system that allows the user to shop the electronic items online. The system reduces the time and expenses bringing the whole shopping process online. The backend used here is an SQL Server database which is on the server communicating with the Android application in the real time. The user is allowed to search for the products based on their categories and filter the items on the basis of their price or names in the increasing or decreasing order. The system includes an innovative floating cart that is available on each page which pops up without leaving the current page. Here once the user is logged in, he is remembered until he logs out. Let's see how it works. So since the user is already logged in, the user is redirected to the home page and the loading dialog exits when all the contents of the home page are loaded. So since all the contents are loaded, the dialog exits. So basically we have five modules here or five categories, mobile phones, laptops, washing machine, TV. So we have used a horizontal scroll view on each category and we have displayed five items of each categories in the home page. So the arrow encircled and the more button depicts the same action. It takes us to the category page. So for example, uh, let's click on the circle or the arrow button of the laptop. So there are five items under laptops showing the picture, the name and the price of it. Minimum nine items can be displayed under each category in a single page. So as it exceeds nine, the navigation arrows below will be enabled to jump from one page to another. So let's click on the second item. So as you can see, there are many pictures of it, the price and the description of it. So you can change the pictures as well. So if you click on any picture, you will see it above. If you see a cart icon on the top right, and if you click it, it says no items in cart. So basically there is no items in the cart and this is the floating cart that I was talking. So let's click on add to cart and you will see automatically the floating cart pops up and you will see the Dell inspiration that has just been added to the cart. So likewise you can also remove it from the cart and it will again say no items in cart. Let's go back. So we have used a navigation drawer for easy navigation between modules. Let's see my profile. So here you will see all your details that you have been filled that you filled during the registration. Likewise, you can update uh, the address and the contact details. Let's see the my orders module. So these are all your previous orders along with the status of it. Let's click on cart. So since there are no items in cart and these are the five categories. So let's click on washing machine. So we have five under washing machine also. So let's click on LG fully automatic and let's say we want this and we add to cart. Let's proceed it and let's say continue. So you have to select a payment method. Let's say we select debit card and then enter all the card details. Uh, we have validations also. So it says the card number should be 16 digits. Let's enter the month and the year of the card validity and the CVV number and let's say pay. So the transaction was successful and the order is placed. So as your order is placed, you are redirected back to the home page. Okay, so let's see the my orders module. 
and you will see the fresh order that you just made with the status as submitted let's uh, go to the tv category and let's see the filter option here so as you see the tvs are arranged in the alphabetic order so let's change it and let's say descending order so as you see the items are arranged in the descending order we want the price in the descending order and as you see the items are arranged based on the price from highest to the lowest if you click on the cart it will show you the floating cart and if you click on the my details you will see the my details here so let's see how this uh, admin module works we need to provide the id and the admin password to access the portal so we'll say login after a successful login you can see that we have option to add products update any orders view previous orders and view existing products which we have added and view user details uh, so to add products we need to provide a details like name price select the category of uh, that particular product and provide few images and the details about that product so let's uh, add product i have its detail over here with this copy that with price of 32000 and it's a tv so we'll select tv and we'll upload images on that product so we'll see the second image we can upload and the third one and upload so we are uploading three images and we are leaving the fourth one blank and let's add a description about that particular product and we'll say submit so this will add a product for me and user can view that particular product from its android application so let's see if there are any orders so we'll click on update order and you can see that we have uh, this order with this id and its status is submitted that means the user has submitted this particular order and admin has still not seen this particular order so if you click on view details you can see that admin can get details about the products which a particular user has bought in this particular id so user has bought these two products in one order so we get the details about the product name, its price and the quantity and you have a section to update the status so let's say if uh, order has been dispatched we'll click on dispatch and we'll say update so you can see that its status has been changed to dispatch and if we click on uh, delivered you would see that uh, this order detail would uh, will not be shown anymore over here as it's assumed that it's completed so we'll click on update and you won't get any details over here as that order was completed and you don't have any pending orders so to view the previous orders details you just need to go on view orders and you can click on view details same way which we did on update order but here you don't have any option to update you just need uh, <clears throat> you just uh, can view the details of that particular orders and we have its total amount and separate amount as well so next we have is view products module where you can get the details about the product which was added so here we have uh, the product name its price its category and the description so you can get other details over here and next we have is a view user module where you can get the details about the users like its name, phone number, address and all so this is how the system works thank you